Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2, the best game ever. Right, uh, no messages, no anything. Right, uh... We need to know what to do. Okay. No messages for you, Commander. Cool. So I guess we'll just go somewhere. Uh, let's go. Yes. All right. Who do we help now? I guess we'll help Miranda. It's so nice to have frame lock off because now I'm actually playing at 60 FPS whilst recording at 30. It's just nice, you know. Right. Nice. So, I guess we'll have her and. Hmm, who else do we have? We must have her. So, why not? Ooh, difficult choice. Guess we'll have that. Okay, let's decide. So what does this do? Don't really see much, too much of a difference. So more weapon damage but less health. And more health but less weapon damage. Assassin obviously. Alright, nice. Okay. And... Nice. Let's go! Right, where would we go? Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse, but is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological discoveries... No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport gate. We'll you should try it my way. Look at how the wind blows. Right, I think I know where I need to go. Sort of. This is a recall notice. All users of Coral's brand and systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system. Uh, is this the right place? No, it's not. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we need to go to that bar place, which I think is just. Yeah, Cernity Bar. Do you have anything flashier? Entire Systems has been deeply embarrassed by the recent theft of a new Omni-Gel synthesis prototype. Alright. Really don't understand how this place works. Why do you need to have something like this like that? You again. Did you talk to Synthetic Insights about purchasing my slave's contract? They say that they can't take the quarry. I'm sorry. Please, this is not your fault. 
It is my responsibility to care for you. I will think of something. Come on. You said that Ilium has a whole system for contracts. Where there's a system, there's wiggle room. Well, I don't want to keep her because I don't think I can maintain her health. Isn't there some kind of clause that lets you release someone for health reasons? Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. I can claim medical necessity. She will be free, and 80% of my contract price will be refunded. It was never meant to apply to Quarians, and they'll close that loophole after we use it, but it will work for us. Thank you. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to go free my slave. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Nice. And this person. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea will follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Nice. Right, so... Nearly loaded. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I don't know. Let's have him for some reason, I don't know. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. You're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. <laughs>
Okay. Come on, we need to get in the cat. <laughs> Goodness, I'm out of Okay. Really? Heels? Hang on, I've got one of their battle. radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Okay. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. I see them! <laughs> Not 
Hurricane Haget Oriana. Big activity. That would be good. see this. It's not here. Can't find it. Alright. Is this one? Yeah. Nice. More credits. Stop going behind cover. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Shields down! Watch for the drone! Eclipse for the drone! Eclipse for the drone! Ready to burn! Eclipse for the knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Got to love the or maybe it means music. something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? 
You know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Right. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Mary. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Mary, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. I'll, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Q. 
Okay, but we'll hack this first. Okay, sure. I can't believe Nick had sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes. You're right. I still have something. Thank you. Come on. You wrap this up. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Well, I guess that's it then. Uh, I'm telling you, for this episode, shouldn't date humans. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I mentioned that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive?